back everybody and welcome back to a new video and finally to the introduction or how to use the 2024 powerful life planner i am honestly so excited for this video or at least for this planner <laughs> um because this planner is just a very special one for me honestly and i cannot wait to share all the background stories and the progress and stuff with you um, but in this video we are going to talk about the installation so i will show you how you can install the planner to your pdf annotation app i am using goodnotes but you could also use color note or zoom note or notability or whatever you want um, I'm also going to show you the download file because this file is very important for you. We will talk about the Apple integration and the hyperlink. And that's the plan for this video. And in future videos, I'm also going to show you uh, more tutorials about this planner. But for this, we are going to start with very basic steps. And before I will show you how to get this planner into an app, I want to start with some general information first, as always. And um, yeah, so that you know what's coming up. The new 2024 Powerful Life Planner is dated from January to December 2024. But you will also receive a December sample, so you can already start planning. The planner is also available in a Monday and Sunday start. And this year, two things are new. The first thing is that you can choose between an Apple or an Android version because it comes with integration, but not all the integrations are working with Android. So you can choose between both of them. So yes, even if this planner has integrations, you can still use it on your iPad tablet or on your Android tablet. And the second, the second one, what's new is that this planner is coming in one color, but in two different wing colors. So for the first time ever, you can choose between golden or silver wings for this planner. Before we can start with digital planning, we need to get this beauty into an app. I am using GoodNotes, but you can use any other app that allows PDF annotation and hyperlinks. And before we get this planner file, we need to go to the most important file, <laughs> and that's the download file. I am selling my products at my Etsy shop, so um, Etsy has a size reduction, but due to all the multiple variations of this planner, I decide to go with the download file. So when you purchase the planner, you will receive this download file. And that's very important because first of all, you can choose your planner with that. And you also have some tutorials, the shortcut link and more tutorials and my contacts, yeah, contact information if you need to send me a message, for example. So when you get this planner, please keep this file at a safe space because for example, when you want to re-download the planner, you can always do this with that file. So that's a very, very important one. So, and we are going to start with the planner first. So that's the index and the first step says choose your planner. So I'm clicking on it and now the planner is coming in different variations. So you have to answer these questions to get your final download link. Um, you can choose between Apple iOS or Android. The reason behind this is that Apple integrations are only working with your iPad. So for example, the Apple Calendar, Reminders, Notes, Mails, The Clock and Focus Mode are only working with the iPad. But if you're using an Android file, you, uh, an Android tablet, you will still have the option to use the Google Calendar. So you can choose between both of them. The nice thing of this is that the planner is not coming without any integration. So even if you have an Android tablet, you will still be able to enjoy the Google Calendar. So I am using an iPad, so I will choose Apple iOS. And the next question is, when does your weekly start? You can choose between a Monday and a Sunday start, and you will always see your choice here so that you know which one you pick. So I am going to start with the Monday start since my week starts on Monday. And now I can choose between the classic layout and the vertical layout. This time the planner is coming with one weekly layout only, but you will also receive PNG files or PNG templates that you can use to customize your week. 
So for this year, I want to go with the vertical layout. So I click on this. And now you can see I pick the iPad Monday Start Vertical Layout and I can choose between silver and golden rings. The first link is for the 2024 Live Planner and the second one is for the December sample. I'm going to download um, the golden 2024 link now because I want to show you the entire planner. When you click on the link, it will open a Dropbox link and it's asking you if you want to download and you click on download. And now you can go back to your download folder and you will see the planner here. So, um, and if you use an Android, you will also find the planner in your download folder. So now we want to install it to our app and I'm clicking on the arrow on the top right corner here. And I can choose different apps. So for example, Noteful, Notability, or GoodNote. I could also choose more apps if I want to, but this time I just need GoodNote, so I will click Open in GoodNotes. Now GoodNote automatically opened, and it's asking me if I want to download the file into my current document, since I already have one open, or as a new document, and I'm going to import it as a new document. Now I can set a select a location, for example, 2024 planners or documents, or you can choose any other location if you want to. And then I click on import to document. And this can take a while, but at this time it went very quickly. And now we have our planner. So when you want to use hyperlinks as I did like this, then you need to ensure that the edit mode is off. So in GoodNote 6, you will have the file uh, the icon here. In GoodNote 5, it's here somewhere. And in any other app, it depends on your settings. So when the edit bar is um, um, here, then you can write into your planner. And when you want to use hyperlinks, you need to turn this off. So the bar will disappear. And now you can start clicking on all the files. <clears throat> so the planner is coming with the dashboard and you will always get to this dashboard by clicking on the wings or by clicking on the small flower here. Oh, and that's the dashboard. We have the planning pages on the left side and the actor templates on the right side. And everything is clickable, so whenever you click on something, you will come to the page. So, as you can see, it works like this, or with the flower. So, now we want to talk about the integration. When you zoom in, you will find six icons here on the top left corner, and these are for the Apple integration. So if you're using Android, you won't have these tabs here. Um, and if you use your iPad, you will find them here. Before you can use the shortcut or the integrations, you need to do two extra steps. So first of all, you need to go to your settings and scroll down to, until you find shortcuts. And you need to ensure that the private sharing is enabled. You have to pick this on a green line here, so it has to be activated for using the shortcut link, otherwise you won't be able to install it. But after installing the shortcut, you can disable it if you want to. So keep this on, and then you need to go back to your download file and you will find the shortcut link here. So you click on install shortcut and that's the link for the shortcut to download for all the integrations. And we are going to do this now. After clicking on the link, the shortcut app will open and you can now set up the shortcut Shelly Planner. So set up shortcut. It's asking you which app will you be using. So you can also use the planner in other apps, for example, Notability or Noteful or Color Note or yeah, in any other PDF annotation app. And then this um, the shortcut will work with this app. So please choose your app first here. And now you click on Add Shortcut. I already have this shortcut, that's why um, it's saying that I already have it. So in my case, I will click cancel, but you are going to set this up so that you have the shortcut inside. 
So now when we are going back to our planner, you can activate the link mode. So that here uh, without the edit bar. And when I click on the month, for example, uh, the calendar, you can see the calendar is open. So, and the same works with all the other integrations. So when I say let's open notes, I click on it and then my note app is opening. So these shortcuts are also working with your um, calendar. So when you are going to your week, you will find these small icons here. We have the pink card for Apple Calendar and the green for Google. And when I click on, let's say the 1st of January, I click on the heart and I will open the shortcut. And then it asks me for a new event. So for example, let's say Happy New Year. because I'm pretty sure I won't have any other appointments at this day. So I will say all day, but you can also set up um, a time if you want to. And then I click on add. And now you see that I have Happy New Year in my Apple calendar. If you want to use Google, you don't need to install a shortcut first. So you can just click on the green heart click on yes, open the link, and then you will see it's opening the 1st of January in your Google Calendar. And you can also add a title and all the things like this. Yeah, that's how the Apple integrations are working. And now we are going to talk a bit about the hyperlink system. Okay, so now let's start about the hyperlink system or the hyperlinks in general. So Everything in this planner is clickable. We have the tabs on the left, on the top, on the right, and on the bottom. And when you click on one of them, you will get to a page. Um, <clears throat> my planners were known for the dynamic tab bar. In this planner, you won't have a dynamic tab bar in that way as we had it before. So we always had a tab bar here with dynamic tabs that adjusted to the page that you were on. This time it's a bit different. To explain you how it works, I want to start with a monthly page. So all monthlies have the same structure. It starts with a calendar, we have an overview, a custom page, finances, and a monthly reflection. And when I go to January, for example, you will see that this is the yeah monthly overview for the dates. By clicking on these small circles here, you will get to the week. And then you will also have this kind of dynamic icon bar here on, on the side. And you will always find this in planning pages. So for example, when I click here, I will come to the January overview. And you will find the icon bar here on the top right corner. So let's click on the middle to get to the custom page. And when we click on the little money bag, we will come to January finances. And when I want to get back, I click on one of these icons. And <clears throat> so when you are on a planning page like the weekly, you will find the icon bar here. And on the dailies, you will also find them here and here. The planner is coming with a few hidden hyperlinks. So for example, when we are on our January overview, you won't see a mini calendar to get back to your day. But that's no problem because let's say we are on, at January 1st. So you can, yeah, let me show it that way. So we have January 1st and you want to track your habit, for example. Then we click on overview. And now you have your habit tracker or your trackers here and you will find the numbers. And as I said, we were on January 1st and when I click on the one, I will come back to January 1st. And this works with any other day as well. So let's say January 21 and I will click on the overview and now I will go back to number 21 and I am back to my January. Um, and when we are on our finances, you will see that we don't have a mini calendar in that way again. So here it works with the links in your payment calendar. So let's say January 18. So I click on 18 and I'm back to January 18. 
and I can go back, let's say 14, and we have January 14. Okay, so now I showed you how the planning pages work, and now I want to show you the dynamic tab bar. So in general, we had a dynamic tab bar on the top in the previous planners that had adjustable links. So depending on the page you were on, it changed the links here. And we still have this with finances and organizer. I want to show you when we go to January finances, for example, you can see that you have these tabs here. Now let's go to the 2024 finance overview. And now you see we have different links. These tabs here are links to all pages within the finance section. So we have transactions, subscriptions, sinking funds, savings, and debt. And when I click on the finance overview, you will see that these are these pages. So we can jump to all, the, to all these pages by clicking on the tab. So now since savings, we have savings and 2024 finances, and we will come back to finances. When we are on a month, we can just click on 2024 to get to this overview, or we can also click on subscriptions and we will come to the subscription page. We can go back to thinking fund, for example, or savings or 2024 finances. And we will always come back to the month by clicking on the letters here. And that works for subscription too. So go to subscription, click on J for June, and we are back on June finances. And the same system, so these links here are also working with the organizer. You can see the organizer is a bit bigger and um, the first two pages are already accessible through the links. So we have um, course and advanced, which is here. When we click on this, we come to course and advanced. A meal planner is here. And the rest of the pages is not available here, but when we click on recipes, you will see that it has a dynamic tab bar. And now I can click on context or go back to recipes. I can click on one that I last, go back to recipes. And you can see that all the pages from the organizer are still accessible through this dynamic tab bar. And whenever I want to get back to my dashboard, I can click on the wings here in the middle or on the small flower. And <clears throat> we also have another diff uh, an important tab and that's this one here, because this little star will get you to the custom pages and notebook, uh, notebooks. Um, the planner is coming with 15 empty custom pages and five notebooks and you will come to this by clicking on the small link icon here. So I clicked here and I get to the first page and I can go back by clicking on the star. Let's say we want to go to notebook number one. We have notebook number one and we can get back by this. And now let's get back to the dashboard and that's how it works. Okay, so that was everything about the basics. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below. I will answer as fast as possible. And then I would say have a good time and we will see us in the next video. Bye.